Hi guys, Bomber here. Welcome back to the channel and today we got a new deck from the Monuments of Power expansion. Today's deck is the Lee Sin combo. So this is it guys, uh, the deck that we hate and love. The deck plan is pretty simple, we want to uh, survive the early game of course until we can get to our main combo which is uh, Lee Sin. We get Zenith's Blade on top of Lee Sin so that now uh, it also has Overwhelm and when it's going to cast the... Um, uh, what's the name? The Dragon's Rage, uh, once he's leveled up, basically will deal first uh, the damage, uh, uh, his own power as damage, uh, and uh, remove the blocker, whatever it is, and then he's also going to deal the, the remaining damage, uh, his own damage, not from the skill, because uh, it has Overwhelm, so that, that's why the important part is to give it Overwhelm. So yeah, pretty simple deck. Uh, against Agro, um, we will win uh, in, uh, in a certain amount of time. If you get Lee Sin on the opener, uh, keep him, uh, even against Agro, because uh, he can be a quite good challenger to remove early threats uh, early on, and as well as uh, the, the faster you get to your combo, the less time an Agro has to, to beat you, in, because of course Agro decks uh, want, you, want to burst out uh, you in the first turns, or burn you out. So if you can get the combo before they burn you out, then it is uh, still uh, pretty viable. To counter uh, specifically aggro decks, uh, um, we have Eye of the Dragon and all the early game uh, stuff, so, so even Solaris of Soldier, very great to keep in the mulligan. Eye of the Dragon, very very important. Uh, then, in particular against uh, pr probably the most important aggro deck right now, is the Misfortune Gangplank. Uh, in that matchup it's also pretty important to get uh, the Nopify, because it can uh, counter the Noxian Fervor and the Make It Rain, but most importantly the, the Noxian Fervor, uh, which is uh, a burn that you can counter f by gaining also a one-man advantage, as well as the, um, the Deny. It may seem uh, counterintuitive, but the Deny counters the Decimate. Uh, but yeah, it, it still feels pretty bad to keep them in the Mulligan if you don't have already the, the Eye of the Dragon or the Lee Sin, as we said. So, probably the card to keep here is the Deep Meditation. Uh, because this can grab you those two spells uh, later on. Uh, so yeah, the, the aggro matchup is probably one of the clankiest, uh, but you have uh, uh, answers to, to that strategy. Also, Spirit Refuge, very, very important. If you can get a Lee Sin, if, for example, if you get a Lee Sin in the opener, keep the Spirit Refuge, because uh, by casting this, only one spell to give him a barrier, challenger from his uh, spell, from, from, from his uh, uh, skill, uh, from his text, how can I say it, and also lifesteal, so a very good way to heal yourself up. So yeah, those are probably the most important cards, Lee Sin, Spirit's Refuge, uh, Eye of the Dragon, Nopify, and Deny slash, um, uh, what's the name, uh, the Deep Meditation to get uh, some of this in, in the aggro matchup. In the mid range, uh, it's probably, and even in the control, it's probably uh, much more important to get your lease in faster because, of course, uh, uh, it's, it is much more important than in the aggro uh, matchup. Uh, because uh, in the long run, especially control decks uh, are going to crush you uh, with value. This is this is, can generate uh, uh, quite a bit of value, but not as much as a uh, war model's uh, um, control, for example. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, just uh, heavily mulligan for the Lee Sin and try to get the combo as fast as possible. So Lee Sin, Zenith Blade, uh, Deep Meditation to grab those spells, uh, in particular the Zenith Blade. And um, so yeah guys, uh, that's it for them. Probably also I should mention the discard aggro, but the playstyle is uh, mainly the same uh, as uh, with the Misfortune Gangplank. Still Nopify is very important because they can never get excited to, um, to counter that burn, but the Nye is probably not that important, uh, because even if they get the, um, the Super Mega ro Death Rocket, uh, you can still counter that with the Nopify instead of the Nye. So probably here the, the most important card is Nopify, uh, rather than uh, the Nye, uh, but pretty much it's the same. Uh, so get your Lee Sin if possible, but more importantly the Day of the Dragon. Um, so yeah, of course in the mirror match uh, you want to get uh, your win condition faster than theirs, so in the, in the mirror match it's um, very very important to get the Lee Sin as uh, it is uh, in the control and mid-range uh, matchup. So yeah guys, that's it for the matchup uh, slash uh, mulligan uh, 
uh, analysis of the deck. Uh, some of you subscribers suggested me to go into this way. Let me know in the comments if you like this more or if you want uh, me to go card by card why the deck is as it is. Uh, or if you want both of them. So let me know in the comments. And uh, with that said, let's jump into some games to see this deck in action. So yeah guys, uh, as you can see, uh, we are currently into Platinum 4, because we just got reset from last season, last season we were into Master, as you can see from the badge. If you want to see more content like this uh, from a Master tier player doing deck guides uh, and uh, analysis, uh, please uh, subscribe, uh, like uh, the, the video, comment uh, to let me know what you think about it, and enter my Discord server, it really helps. So yeah, with that said, we are up against uh, Atimo with Targon, so kind of an off-meta deck, uh, probably not the best to show, but still, uh, le let's try this, uh, because I don't know what to expect. So the Nopify, he could ever get excited, stuff like that, uh, but I probably don't think it is going to be that important. So I like the Solaris Soldier as we are attacking, uh, but uh, I probably want to get uh, my Lee Sin uh, in this kind of matchup. I don't think that is that much of an aggro, so we don't really care about the the early game. Ours is the one true but yeah, putting a bit of pressure on him is always nice. A Especially mm -hmm. since, uh, yeah, on turn one, he probably has only Gift Giver Just and uh, the team. So yeah, we, uh, we get a nice value trade there. Okay, kind of a dead turn, but uh, we kind of want anyway to. Um, bank spell mana in this kind of deck with Lee Sin because we want to have options uh, to do stuff. So now I also like playing the Mentor of the Stones here because getting the plus 2 plus 2 on the Solaris Soldier will make it un unblockable basically. And we will get those uh, 4 damage in. If he goes for the Champ of Worms uh, block there, we can also pay Cascade to take off the, the body. But yeah, he goes for this instead. Which is uh, fine, we don't really care too much about this. I do like the the potential of healing the Solaris Soldier and making a pretty good body. Yeah, uh, for example with getting touch. Now we probably really want to, to get the 2 plus spell, a bonus from Deep Meditation. So this turn, uh, let's see what it does. But we probably want to go for getting touch and Pell Cascade, or if he plays something some kind of spell, then we probably want to go for the knife. Yeah, of course this does not uh, count. Okay, so this turn you can level up Timo. So... Yeah, we probably want to pass here, because we want to be sure of what it does here. Yeah, even if we lose a bit of mana, we don't really care. We have, we have got the upper hand right now, because we can get another pretty good attack in. And if he goes for the block there, uh, to remove the, the plus two plus two generator, then we can trade it with Bell Cascade. As well as probably now we want to also get the Nightfall effect, and the next turn we will get the two plus uh, casted spells bonus. Both from My of the Dragon, which we're gonna cast right now, and as well from Deep Meditation, which next turn we're gonna uh, have uh, full mana because of the Atun from My of the Dragon. So yeah, this is a pretty insane turn. Very, very good. Okay, let's see, Mushroom Cloud, yeah, he's getting uh, the most Mushroom as he possibly can with the Puff Cat Peddler. Yeah, getting touch, again, getting those Mushrooms, he's probably searching for team as well. I don't know, oh, okay, Jam, yeah, I thought that was another um, Puff Cat uh, stuff. Okay, now we've got a lot of gems, uh, so that we can pretty much activate uh, Eye of the Dragon every turn. Very, very nice here. So he's taking his time. Start shaping. Interesting. Okay, this is uh, kind of scary because uh, he can get a finisher off of this. So next turn we want to heavily draw uh, thanks to Deep Meditation. Because even if we don't get our Lee Sin, of course, from the Deep Meditation, we remove cards which are not Lee Sin in our deck. So that we have more check. Okay, we did draw the Lee Sin anyway. But yeah. To, to like uh, follow my my thought, uh, my line of thought there, it was that uh, if we have less cards which are not listening in the deck, uh, we've got more chances to draw listen. But we did draw listen anyway, and, and we do have uh, ways to protect him with the eye. 
So we probably want to cast him here. A pleasure to see you, man. Even though we are kind of losing the, the <laughs> meditation bonus. So. so okay, now this is pretty scary. We probably want uh, to draw right now because we will remove puff cups so that the Timo can't uh, double if we already got them, basically. Okay, and, and Dash uh, here is uh, very, very great. As well as Zenith Blade, we, we got our uh, win condition basically. So he's, he's uh, of course going for the attack here. There is no way that he's not attacking. And so we heavily punish him by going uh, with Ash. And yeah, this is probably a concede. We can be greedy and uh, try to get also the lifesteal off of it. But he could have like a mystic shot and I really care about uh, the Timo dying. So I don't want to be greedy there. And uh, yeah, I want to to block with the Lee Sin because uh, we won't get the damage as well. So okay, th this was a very very lucky draw from us, and this will probably cost him the game. What is when he my yeah, we can uh, we can also level up the the Lee Sin basically. So we go for a gem. I will not for gem. Conflict is all gem. in the mind. And yeah, we level up uh, Lee Sin this way, uh, he, he doesn't have ways to counter our spell, he's not into Ionia, and so this is uh, a good game, and this will get to 8 damage, 8 attack, basically, so this already is 16 damage. I fight with the dragon fury. 16 damage, and we're removing uh, another blocker that he could possibly play. Yeah, and it's a good game. So you see, the, the, poten the combo potential on this deck is insane. I thank you, so yeah, guys, uh, since that was a pretty fast game, uh, let's uh, do another one. And this time we're up against a Misfortune Gangplank, which is a much more meta deck than the previous one. So this may be a little more interesting as well. So, uh, we did get our Eye of the Dragon, which is very, very important in this kind of matchup, uh, as well as the Zenith Blade. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I want to mulligan for more uh, early on stuff. Uh, probably yes. Uh, and also, I like the Guiding Touch for the potential of drawing, as, uh, as well as healing, of course. So we need that in, the, in a burn. I also like the Meditation for reasons that I explained in the intro, to get like the Nopify and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I really need to get our our one drops and stuff. You know what? We are probably also mulliganing away to get the in touch. In this matchup, it, it is so much important. Yeah, so, so double Eye of the Dragon is probably a good game. It is so much important to get your Eye of the Dragon and your early on board. Because, uh, yeah, this deck is, is uh, insanely good at dealing uh, damage in early on. And then at closing out games. So for example, you see that here we don't really have a, a block. Or at least we wouldn't have had if we didn't have the Pale Cascade. Which is very very good here. I probably want to block the um, these. Even though we are kind of uh, like uh, vulnerable to a make it rain. Because this also means that we can... Uh, that it doesn't have a way to deal as damage on, on his not attacking turns. And uh, for this deck it is very important to deal damage on non-attacking turns because uh, he has to level up the Gangplank. So here we probably... So here is the thing, if we go for Mentor of the Stones we're pretty much dead to a Make It Rain. So you probably want to play it safely here and uh, go for an Eye of the Dragon. I'm also kinda happy if it raids uh, this for that. Uh, and if he doesn't, then we get a, a one free damage, uh, basically. So yeah, he doesn't want to trade that, of course. I'm one of the good guys. But not that good. The spirit so we go for Eye of the Dragon. And we probably have uh, to develop another uh, body as well. We need blockers, so we don't have, we don't need the, the daybreak bonus. I mean, it, it could have been nice to block the the misfortune, but he's probably not going for the open attack. Sorry, I thought that I thought that he was going for a different attack. So yeah, probably that was a misplay. 
now he's also has got an attack with uh, the misfortune. Now it's kind of safer to go for the Mentor of the Stones, even though we can't block with him, of course. But probably next turn we're going to get uh, an attack with it. Okay, also the Powder Keg uh, basically makes uh, also our Solar Soldier unable to block. Now the only thing that can block is uh, the second layer of the Dragon, which feels really, really bad. So he's probably also worried about our Pale Cascade. But he's still going for the attack. I don't know about this. Also, he did the wrong order. Wow, that was a, a huge misplay. Because now the the crack shot, since he attacked last, now the um, the love tap will not deal uh, two damage, but it, will, but it will deal two because the crack shot will take that away. So we probably want to block there and remove the one three, and we can also chump block this. Uh, at least uh, get one damage less, basically. And I'm probably also thinking about uh, blocking the misfortune here, because we don't really gain a lot from the plus two plus two, and next turn we can heal the Eye of the Dragon with the gems, uh, as well as playing the Lee Sin and uh, next turn getting the, the Dragon with the that we need uh, to heal, basically. So yeah, that, that was a huge misplay. I use a uh, huge me his order basically from him so now it is probably better to play the gems right now and get the, um, the dragon links uh, as fast as possible and because also we will have uh, we will have only five mana so yeah it is uh, very important for us to remove the misfortune but it could never make it rain to punish for uh, for this move Well, this is a uh, pretty... I don't know where to go. Well, next turn we can still play one gem to get at least the, the challenger for this scene. So it's probably better to play it uh, safer, get the dragonlings uh, immediately, and uh, get out of uh, make it rain range. Range for the other dragon. Breathe out. So wave, so this is probably going to be a bit more important uh, on later turns. Now if he goes for a Gangplank, we are in a pretty bad spot. But we kinda had to develop the Lee Sin into the attack. Okay, he's not going for anything. He's probably also tempting to pass here. Because we are making him waste so much mana, but we are wasting for health. So it is, is it worth it? Because if he goes for a Gangplank next turn... Yeah, but, but he can go for it uh, anyway. So it's probably better to... To get the heal right now. So let's also heal one Eye of the Dragon. This is of course to get the challenger from the scene. And uh, let's remove the... The Misfortune. Which is kind of threatening. We could also push a little bit more damage with Eye of the Dragon. Since he doesn't really have a nice block here. But uh, yeah, I like more uh, what he could have. Like uh, a precious pet into Make It Rain. He, he could be lucky, so let's not play into that. Yeah, Make It Rain here, and, and it did target that. So yeah, we lose also two health, but uh, we do not lose the Lee Sin, which is very important. And we did remove the, the Misfortune, which is what we cared for. So yeah, you see, we, we tapped out uh, from Nopify range, but he also tapped out from Gangplank range. And next turn, if he goes for a Gangplank, we can remove it uh, with a Sonic Wave, uh, giving plus two attack to Lee Sin. We will take a, a bit of damage from doing so, because Overwhelm will go past the barrier. Is it a second make train? Okay, not in favor. Yeah, that, that hurts, uh, but it, it is still fine. It's pretty low on resources, uh, and we have two Eye of the Dragons. Uh, which are very very good uh, in this uh, matchup, as I said in the intro. Yeah, we did lose the DC in. We did get the Zenith Blade. Uh, so yeah, we can't really trade Jack the Winner. You know what, let's go for a Zenith Blade here. He is not in the Make It Rain range. So that this, with this we can block uh, the Crackshot Corsair. He's probably going for the attack there. 
so that we can uh, go for the Sonic Wave again, this plus 2 plus 0, and remove that. So yeah, he's falling for the trap. Uh, we are sacrificing um, an Eye of the Dragon. But yeah, we are removing a Check the Winner, which is, uh, of course, uh, generating him uh, burn damage every turn. And uh, we will uh, still get a Dragonling from this next turn, as well as having the option to reveal with the Meditation. Okay, we are probably going for the open attack there. If he goes for a uh, make it rain, uh, it doesn't. But yeah, we could have uh, first played a uh, deep meditation and probably try to get a uh, bell cascade. So yeah, searching for burn. Uh, and uh, like I was saying in the, in the first matchup, now we are trying to remove as many cards as we can from these uh, so that we can uh, get at least seen more uh, consistently. So yeah, you see, now we also did draw a lot of uh, answers to his plan. He could go for a decimate now, which kind of hurts. Okay, he's developing on board. Uh, that, that's probably fine. We're not. We're still getting a dragonling next turn. Very, very, very nice. Yeah, of course, because we played the two deep meditations. I didn't uh, Remember the keep count of that. Okay, so unfortunately, we can't uh, nopify a skill. It's only in dealing us to damage, so yeah, we, and we also got a lot of heal from Spirit's Refuge, so I'm, I'm probably fine by him doing this. Probably the Denai is a bit too expensive, I want to develop uh, blockers and uh, have the option to also react here. For the glory so yeah, we're taking Noxus. the 2 damage. Let's go for Mountain Goat, uh, just uh, to develop another blocker. Check it back, sure. Okay, we can also um, Ash the Elusive, which is uh, probably going to be the, the most threatening of his, uh, of his cards. But yeah, here we, we are waiting for him. P pretty unlucky for him to not get the, the gank. Okay, you see, he's, he's only going for these, which is a pretty huge misplay in my opinion. So yeah, we Ash it another time, we give this. Uh, uh, also a chance to heal. Okay, make it rain. So yeah, and th that's why we keep a Nobify. Nobify is uh, very very good against uh, these decks. Make it rain, Nox and Fervor, so much stuff to, to deny. So yeah, now we also got a full mana spell. Let's uh, hopefully get a Lissin. Don't get it, but we do get the last uh, Eye of the Dragon. So we can go safely for the attack here, with everything. Let's probably buff more the Eye of the Dragon first. Probably not, let's give Overwhelm as, uh, on the Mountain Goat as well, so that we can start putting pressure on him. Okay, that's the Zenith Blade that we probably want to keep for a Lee Sin if we hopefully draw that Decimate. Here it is, so we have a uh, Deny. And uh, that's uh, pretty much good game already, man. We, we did counter every stuff that he could possibly throw at us. Now, even if he blocks these, we still have uh, Spirit's Refuge uh, getting uh, uh, the value trade there, as well as getting additional lives. I still, course. So yeah, he's going for the value trade there, but we didn't really care about this. We just uh, we just wanted the heal off of it. And so yeah, we go for Spirit's Refuge, uh, we take the trade. We healed for five, okay, and he, and he finally gave that. Probably. So now probably only Gangplank can, yeah, okay. No. He did give up. Well played, man. So yeah, guys, as you saw, this deck is very, very consistent. Uh, we did get one uh, of meta deck, one meta of meta matchup, but we did win against Misfortune Gangplank, which is probably the the most competitive deck right now. But Lee Sin is also very, very competitive, and in fact, they are both uh, uh, S tier decks, and it shows uh, why this deck is uh, so strong. Uh, it has plenty of options. Um, Every, every matchup is pretty much uh, good if you get the right cards uh, against Sagro, if you get Eye of the Dragons, as we did. It is very, very hard for them to deal with that. And against the uh, slower decks, uh, then we just beat them uh, with uh, our combo potential. Uh, so yeah, very, very versatile deck and uh, has a lot of ways to win, as I said. 
And uh, so yeah, please guys subscribe to the channel for more content like this, as well as leaving a like and a comment and entering my Discord server, links are down below. And uh, so yeah guys, that's it for this video, hope you liked it and find it useful, and as always, see ya!